Today, I'm going to be running some power for a septic pump and alarm. Here's the existing wiring who got UF cable splice to a pump cord. We're going to do it a little bit differently. Luckily, this house has an outdoor load center, so I'm going to surface mount some conduit on the side of the house and then run it through these deck joists. To make these holes nice and straight, first I shot a laser and then I came back with a speed square and marked about three and a half inches up from the bottom. I was a little bit off on one of my holes because I had to hit it from the back, kind of like I do your mom. It's important to keep these holes nice and straight. That's going to make it a lot easier to push the conduit through. I know some of you guys in my comments who can't get laid are going to say something about drilling holes to the joist. It's going to compromise the structure, but you just have to know where to drill a hole and what size. It's perfectly fine. Here at the end, I've got a heat gun out to heat and bend this conduit. You could use a torch, but I'm not a junkie like some of you guys out there. I don't want to carry a torch. Here, I'm just surface mounting the conduit to the side of the house. Kind of wishing I cut this part out of the video. Here's an old Navajo trick for some of you rookies out there. If you're pushing into a live panel, just put a 90 on the end of your pipe connector. That way it'll direct your fish tape away from any live parts. Just come up, pull the 90 off, and there's your fish tape. You could use cardboard too, but this was close by and uh, I'm lazy. All right, so I got all my wires pulled. Unfortunately, I'm using solid because they didn't have any stranded at the supply house today. So that's the way it is nowadays. No material, or they keep it locked up behind cages at Home Depot. We really need to get our shit together. But anyways, I'm just going to be paired up the neutrals here before I cut it off the spools, and uh, that's going to wrap this one up.